All right, today's video is going to cover all the updates regarding the Helium network. We have uh, some problems with Bobcat and Rack miners, and we'll show you how to deal with that. Also, we have some excellent news uh, with Dish partnering up with Helium. And why would that be important? Because we can see that the impact will be on the price of HT. Also, we have two companies that they will actually, one of them can you do pre-order today and there's another one that will have probably in a few days uh, that you can order and will be shipped right after that so very interesting news the the network is growing everything is doing fine but what the hell is going with Bobcat Miner a lot of people see it disconnected some of you will see relayed and some of you will see it's not syncing now the the first thing that you do is you come to app.heliumstatus.io or if you have access to your dashboard, uh, if, for example, Bobcat Miner, SenseCap, and some others have access. If you have a rack, I believe there is no dashboard. So the best way is you come to this website and, not, and do not use your Helium app because it will not give you the right data. So the best thing is you come here, you enter your hotspot name, and you can see it here. You will click on anyone, any of them, you choose obviously yours but for the sake of this information hotspot online and functioning correctly you must be a pro so why do you need to do this because in the helium app it might show you and even on the explorer it might show you it is relayed or disconnected and that's what happened to me and now it's back to normal and i can see i've been earning throughout so my earnings are not impacted it's just a software or firmware problem that's it so you do not need to worry now if it's not saying it's online then that's when you have to contact um, Bobcat or Rack but most likely once your hotspot gets the update things will go back to normal if your setup was correct and if your earnings were uh, you're making earnings just before this week so there's a lot of going on on the back end from the Helium which you can check it out here in the announcements you can see they have been doing some new updates to the network especially if you have like an uh, android there's a problem with that and they are fixing it so um, the best thing you can do is you can do fast syncing if you have bobcat miner you can enter the you know enter the app and then do the fast syncing other than that i think you are on the safe side now, I'm sure there will be cases uh, that are special and different. So I'm talking about the general rules right here. Also, if you see it relayed, that does not mean if it says relayed here, then you need to fix it. If it doesn't, then you're good to go. Do not count on the Explorer and the Helium app at the moment. This is something that is, needs to be updated. So enough about this because I already talked about it yesterday. Now let's talk about the big news. So Dish, first major carrier to bring Helium 5G to the people. What if you could get 5G from your neighbor? This is the vision that has motivated us from the early days of Helium, a distributed future where wireless infrastructure is built, maintained and controlled by anyone and everyone, including your neighbor. Fast forward to the present, the vision, that vision is now becoming a reality just two years after officially launching the Helium network in 2019 with 256 thousands hotspots live across 22,000 cities and 144 countries. Today we take another huge step with announcement of Helium 5G partnership between DISH and Helium, an innovator in the telco space. DISH understands the tremendous impact blockchain can make on the industry and the benefit of HNT incentive model. With their partnership, Dish becomes the first major carrier to join us in our mission by extending the Helium network with customers deploying their own Helium 5G CBRS based hotspots. So let's talk about Dish. Dish Network Corporation is a connectivity company since 1980. It has served as a disruptive force driving innovation and value on behalf of consumers through its subsidiaries. The company provides television entertainment and award winning technology to millions of customers with its satellite Dish TV and streaming Sling TV services. In 2020, the company became a nationwide US wireless carrier through the acquisition of Boost Mobile. Dish continues to innovate in wireless, building the nation's first virtualized standalone 5G broadband network. 
Dish Network Corporation, NASDAQ, is a Fortune 200 company. So we're talking about a big, really big, big company. But the utilization of the 5G that is provided from Helium, the utilization of this is going to bring the value to HNT. Because once the burning becomes a reality, once the usage becomes a need, then when, that's when things will move on. So I think this is great for the HNT. It's just the start. Uh, I know in a, probably a matter of months now, uh, once the utility becomes active and the 5G provider from Freedom Fi, they're expecting to deploy around 40,000 by the end of next year. So things can improve dramatically. Uh, like we saw with the OGs, with the Helium hotspots, there was only what the OG was. And now we have, I think, about 10 or 15 companies that they are manufacturing all these new hotspots. Is that something that can happen to the five uh, the Freedom Fi? Are they going to outsource it? Are they going to increase their capabilities and capacities? Probably they will, because if there's a need, there is... A demand you know there will be a supply i don't see why not so this is this is just the start so i'm really really uh, happy about this because once you have uh, once you have a wireless carrier that is willing to work with you and use your technology this is big guys it is very very promising so let's talk about who else uh the third one is my site it's a good product and it's available for US, Canada, and Europe. It's available for pre-order, but you have to read the terms. The delivery will start in January. Also, they have um, bank transfer payments. We ac they accept credit cards. The only problem you're gonna face is pre-orders are not refundable. And I encourage you that you read all the details here before making a purchase since it is not refundable. So these are the best options for you now. Uh, Bobcat is, is doing uh, well, but it's around four months to five months delay. So that's a long time. So these are probably the fastest. Get Minted is probably the best bet if you live in the US. If you're in Europe, Panther X, go check them out. Um, it's a nice looking device. Uh, the, if you read the, the specifications and all the payments, and everything before you make the purchase, I encourage you to do that. So that's about it. Today's video is just about everything about helium and hotspots, problems with the dish. So I covered it all just for you so you can be aware of what the hell is going on with the helium hotspot and uh, make sure that uh, you are aware of, uh, of the updates. Uh, so there are interesting news. I'm, I'm very bullish about this project, as you guys know, and I think it's going to uh, pave the future for a crazy network that will be dominating this uh, game. So, my name is Eddie. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I invite you to subscribe and like the video and turn on the notification bells. As for now, we'll see you on the next video.